Hey everybody, this is Pastor Wallace. I'm going to wait a few minutes uh, for you all to join me uh, and uh, let me know where you are and where you're coming in from. Uh, so good afternoon. It's uh, Monday and I always say that Monday matters uh, for a multiplicity of reasons, but I'm gonna wait for some of you all to join me on this, uh, this afternoon on this impromptu uh, moment. Uh, there are just some things that I think that we should have conversation about uh, and it's going to cause us to be very serious uh, about how we proceed in these next uh, five months uh, almost or six months that we're in. Uh, and so I just want to wait a few minutes, say good afternoon. I pray that you all have had a great time. Good afternoon from Chicago. How are you? Uh, and would you text, tag, and share? Uh, and just let everybody know that I'm on for a few minutes. This is not Word Up. Word Up is always on Wednesdays, but I do feel this um, urgency uh, to take this moment uh, and have this conversation. Thank you so much, George. Uh, and to encourage some of us uh, in the direction uh, that we are uh, headed in so that we are not um, ignorant of the enemy's uh, ways uh, and that we are very cognitive of the fact that not only is God with us, but he is leading us and guiding us. So while we're waiting, would you text, tag, and share uh, and let somebody else know that Pastor Wallace is on, Reverend Wallace is on. Uh, and while you're doing that, uh, would you let, let me know where you're coming in from? So put a comment in the comment section and say what city you're in and where you are and all those kinds of things. Um, for these few moments, I really um, want to take a moment and talk about redeem. Uh, the scriptures tell us that in um, Ephesians chapter number five, around verse number, um, probably around verse number 16, uh, that it says redeem the time for the days are evil. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, and, and too often when we are uncertain of our transition uh, or we are uncertain, good afternoon, New Jersey, uh, and when we are uncertain of um, which way the Lord is taking us, uh, we revert back to the old. We become comfortable uh, doing what we have done and not allowing our faith to motivate us uh, push us and thrust us uh, into the new. And one of the things that, that I am cognitive of prophetically in this hour is that God wants us to redeem the time. He wants us to go forward. He wants us uh, to be motivated to not only say that we're going, but to have enough faith to know that it's going to get us where we need to go. And so this afternoon, while I'm waiting for some more of you to jump on, would you do that for me? I want to just have this conversation uh, with you so that when we, um, when we make this true turn, and somebody needs to say that in the comment section, when we make this next turn, when I make this next turn, I'm not turning so that I go backwards. I'm turning so that I can go forward. I'm not turning so that that life throws me a curveball, but I'm turning so that I can get all that God has promised me in this season. Some of you are on. Will you let me know where you're from, where you're coming in from? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so happy to see you. Well, let me go on with my conversation now. Uh, I, I do want to say that that if you are uncertain uh, that God is um, with you, then you have missed the fact that you are living uh, in a season where many have died. Uh, and it is important for us, and you need to understand it's important prophetically that, that not only are you stronger in God, but that your faith is strong in God. 
um, and that you are confident that he has not just left you here just to leave you here, uh, but he has brought you here so that you will not just manage life. Somebody needs to say that. I'm not here just so I can manage life. I'm here so that I can live and live life more abundantly. I'm here so that I can uh, fulfill the assignment that God has placed on my life. And every assignment, I keep feeling the necessity, hey, Alabama, every assignment, every assignment is not a, to be an apostle. Every assignment is not to be a prophet. Every assignment is not to uh, be an evangelist or a pastor. There are some assignments that are coming to many of you that will be in the marketplace. Hey, um, Carlene, I can't wait till Thursday either. Um, but we need to be also equipped um, that we're not just doing just to be doing, but we are doing because we have been sent to do it. We must be very careful that we're not running around uh, like trying to catch our tail or trying to catch up what everybody else is doing. But we must be very purpose driven in this season. We must be very cognitive that everyone that, that has been with you may not be with you. Everyone that has supported you, everybody has been your BFF, may not be your BFF in this season. There are some seasons that you have to do it alone. But more than that, when we look at this text, we're in Ephesians 5 and 16, it says redeem the time. That means that you've got to have the tenacity to go back and do what is necessary to be done. And at the same time, this is called multitasking now, at the same time, move forward. Let me say this again, because too many of us are missing this point. You've got to go back and you've got to conquer what it it is that you should have done and you didn't do and at the same time you've got to move forward at the same time so simultaneously you've got to be in what you've got to be in movement you've got to be in movement and you've got to be strong in your faith and so as we as we gather ourselves together as we push ourselves out of the place of being tired as we push ourselves out of the place of being despondent and anxiety filled and stress driven you must now come to a place that you are settled somebody needs to say that you need to be settled in this hour you need to be focused in this hour and you need to take off all of the alarms <coughs> that are rumbling in your head and you need to say to yourself, I am redeeming the time simultaneously as I go forward. The scriptures tell us redeem the time for the days are evil. And surely if we opened up and we talked about the evil of the days, we would have so much that we would be able to say. We would have so much that we would be able to say that not only can we say it, but we can witness it or have witnessed it. That is not where my focus needs to be in this hour. That is not where my, my my, my my thinking uh, or my my abilities need to be uh, rumbling in this hour but what I need to be I need to redeem the time simultaneously as I go forward uh, the scripture says redeem the time for the days are evil because the days are evil I'm not here to say time is winding up. I'm not here to say that Jesus is soon to come. Surely we have all the signs that the scriptures have given us. But more importantly, the Lord is looking for a remnant of people. He's looking for a remnant of people that are passionate about fulfilling the assignment on earth as he has delivered it to you from heaven. He is looking for people that are not grudgingly doing anything, but excited about where God and what God is going to do in this season. I believe that without a shadow of a doubt that God is going to not only 
add, but he is going to multiply in this season. I believe that prophetically that God has sanctioned us to not just move forward, but to redeem and to go back and to fix and to comprehend and bring along those things that are necessary for this incoming time. And I pray to this afternoon, I pray that those of you that are listening to me, I pray that the, the, the prophetic unction on the inside of you would rise to the occasion and that you would say to yourself, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And you've got to be so focused. I don't know why the Holy Ghost keeps telling me to say this, but you've got to be so focused in this season that one, you don't step backwards, but you move forward. I, I just keep hearing the Holy Ghost say to somebody this afternoon, go forward, move forward, do what you've got to do and stay focused because the enemy will try to distract you in any way that he possibly can. He will try to discourage you. He will try to cause you to believe that it's not going to happen when it is going to happen. I want to remind us before we pray, I want to remind us that the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should have to repent. Why are we studying the word? Why are we reading the word? Why are we having devotion if we're not going to believe what God has said to us in his word? Take the word. The Bible Bible gives us the word of God. Take the word of God and believe it. If God said it, believe it. If God promised it, believe it. If God has orchestrated it, then believe it. We must now in this season redeem the time. Stop. Stop for a moment. Gather yourself gather your thinking, delete who needs to be deleted and add who needs to be added and know that God has caused you to live in this hour. Let's get ready. As we come to the end of the month of June, let's get ready to turn the corner. Let's get ready to be progressive. Let's get ready to prosper. Let's get ready to move. Let's get ready to do all the things that has been assigned to us in this season. Let's close the year knowing that I'm ready for 2023. Somebody said, I, I, I can't even imagine 23. Well, I can. And so since you're listening to me, I want you to imagine 23. I want you to say that no matter how it looks, no matter what's happening on Wall Street, no matter what's happening in my city, at the end of the day, God has said that he would do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I could even ask or think. And you need to call it in, call it in from the north, south, east and west, call it in so that God can do what he has promised to do for us. I pray this afternoon, this Monday afternoon, that not only have you listened to me, but you have been empowered to go forward. You have been empowered to redeem the time. You have, you have been empowered to let your faith rise to the occasion. I pray this afternoon and I want to pray with you. Somebody might say, I want to, I want to send a prophet seed. I want you to do that. Send that seed to a dollar sign Agape Cathedral. But more than that, those of you that will come later and hear, surely it's always appropriate to sow seed into when you hear prophetic utterance. It's always and when you sow into it, God turns your seed. But the real thing I want to say in this hour is that we are moving. I want you to feel the movement of God. I want you to feel that God is shifting and turning and trans transitioning you and you are turning this corner we are turning this corner into the month of july i'm so excited for what i believe that god is going to do for all of us in this season i stand as a voice a voice that's not crying in the wilderness but i stand as a voice that hear and know that god has much 
to do for us in this season. I pray that you were blessed by this nugget. I pray that you will redeem the time because the days really are evil. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you and we thank you for being God. We thank you for how kind you are, how glorious you are, how magnificent you are. We thank you for another Monday that we have never seen. We thank you for how you've blessed us and we thank you for bringing us to this latter end of the month of June. I pray, Father, that these, these nuggets, these prophetic utterances that we have heard even on this afternoon, I pray that even right now, Father, that you would anoint us and get us ready for what you're getting ready to do. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for multiplying us. Thank you for growing us. Thank you for giving us the wisdom that we need. Father, I pray that even right now, that God, that you would strengthen those that are here, that are weak possibly, or those that have turned their back and said, I can't go any further. But God, give us to know that you have sanctioned us to be redeemers of the time. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for calling us. Thank you for choosing us. And wherever we are in the platform of purpose for our lives, I pray that now that you would refresh us and rejuvenate us and cause us to go on and to go forward. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. There may be someone that's sick. There may be someone that's feeling discouraged. There may be someone that's feeling the spirit of depression. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for renewed strength. We thank you for regulating our minds. We thank you for causing us to be greater than what we could ever imagine. Thank you that we have the faith to trust you because you cannot lie. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we do pray. And everybody said, amen, amen, and amen. You all have a wonderful afternoon. Know this is Reverend Cordelia Wallace. Join me on Wednesday night for Word Up. And then if you are not following me on all of my social media platforms, would you kindly do that? Last but not least, I do want to say this. On July the 14th at 7 o'clock, there is a master class called Me Factor 2.2. Go on my platform and register now that you might be a part of this great conversation. You all have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. God bless you and know that Pastor Wallace loves you. Bye-bye.